I'm Marcel James with Antelope Audio and we're showing you the new Orion 32 HD. The Orion 32 HD is a 32 channel I.O. but it's a 64 channel interface. The HD is compatible with Pro Tools HD, Pro Tools Native. It's also uh, compatible through USB 3 with any other DAW as well. So you can easily switch modes and go back and forth from HD use to uh, native DAW use. The first thing you notice on the front panel are uh, the different clock modes. This is a pretty powerful feature for an antelope interface because this is where we kind of became well known uh, as a clocking company, clocking Pro Tools systems specifically over the years. So now you've got a Pro Tools compatible interface with that clocking in in integrated inside the unit. In this mode with the oven, it's powered by its own internal clock. But if you want to clock it to an external work clock input or a loop sync, that would show up on the lock light would come on. And I'll show you how you switch modes between loop sync and work clock in just a moment. Um, the 10M input is our 10M or 10MX atomic clock inputs that raise that to an atomic clock level. Uh, there's a couple cool things here because on the back, I'll show you, you've got uh, a monitor output. And you can control the monitor level on that mastering grade monitor output from the front of the unit if you'd like. You can control it from software or you can uh, connect it to a, a hardware dedicated uh, monitor controller box. This is the antelope button and this can, you can either hold this button and engage our, uh, any of our different modes in our, uh, here as well. We have things like factory resets or you can look at the device information. By pressing uh, the antelope button you can uh, see different data that's going on with the unit as well. Um, the other thing, the other function of the antelope button if you press and hold it is to scroll through things like loop sync uh, and here you can see that I'm, I'm either turning loop sync on or loop sync off. So this uh, unit, while it is, uh, has extensive control panel software to control the unit from inside the computer, you can also do a lot of the operations right from the front panel itself. And again, these are five different presets that can change your routing or your effects uh, implementation because they're built-in real-time FPGA effects. The advantages to this unit or some of the key points to the unit are, again, the 64 channel mode so you have routing either for 32 channels in and out of uh, analog audio or the digital I.O. You have MADI, you have ADAT, you have SPDIF. You also have 16 real-time AFX slots for up to 40 different EQs and up to 12 different compressors and that's built into the unit as well so you'll want those you can look at those extra streams as voices in other words to uh, access the different effects that are inside the unit we have what you won't hear or what you won't see uh, is any uh, fan or fan noise on the unit itself. It's dead quiet. So it, it occupies about a fourth of the, the space and weight of the traditional 64 channels. What you would have to do is two or four space rack to get to, six, to, get, to get to 32 channels, excuse me. So now we've combined all that in a small unit, but also reduced the fan noise. And we also have uh, our latest chip technology integrated into the unit as well as our clocking. So sonically, it should be incomparable with anything. So on the back panel, the first thing you see are these work clock or loop sync IOs and the 10M input. And again, those can be changed from software from the front panel. You then see our SPDIF. Here are those mastering grade outputs on TRS, dedicated TRS out. So there are additional channels. And that's another reason for having more than 32 channels of an interface because you'll want to have a couple extra streams and still have access to your 32 channel IO. Uh, here are the two Digiport links, and these show up natively as an HD MADI, but we can also show up as different interfaces as time goes on, uh, depending on how we'd r rather work inside Pro Tools. But uh, you, have, you can connect two Digiport links for a full 64 channels of DigiIO here. Here's your uh, USB 3. So this controls the remote control software of the unit, or it can also handle 64 channels of I.O. in uh, native uh, software. These are your uh, MADI I.O.s and your two ADAT I.O.s. So extensive digital and analog inputs and outputs. And here are those 32 channels of input and output on DB25s. So all you would have to do to swap this out with a, an interface or a couple of interfaces in a Pro Tools rig is change out your DB25s, move your uh, word clock or loop sync cables, and move your Digiport cables, plug in a USB cable for remote control of all those extra features.